What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to my channel only if you want to. But look, my beautiful people, we'll make it to a million subscribers someday. You feel me? We just gotta keep smashing that button. But look, uh, we got this 10 discussing fast food workers caught in the app. I know many of us came up, you know, responsible teens and everything. We had jobs. Most of us worked at fast food at a certain period of our life. Have you ever? Have you ever? Most of y'all don't even have profile pictures, so you can go ahead and tell anyway. Just dry snitch on yourself. Have you ever messed with somebody's food or done anything crazy in a fast food place or seen anything that was crazy? Go ahead and tell your stories in the comments down below. I'll let y'all know at the end of this video. But look, um, let's get into this video without further ado. Today's video, what have we gone to the top 10 most disgusting fast food workers in restaurants? Four large rats scampering across the oh, pizza Oh, absolutely not. Wow. Yeah, that's not cool. This one is downright disgusting. We've got a McDonald's worker who got caught sticking his hands down his pants while he was on the job. Somebody took a picture in the drive-thru, and I don't know what this guy was doing. If he was rearranging <laughs> something down there, had an itch, he was doing something <laughs> a little more sinister. I'm not sure, but he like I not. said, gross. This is the photo posted to Facebook at 10.30 Saturday night showing a McDonald's worker with his hand down the front of his pants. It happened at this McDonald's on West Liberty Avenue. The customer told Channel 11 he was in the drive through line with his daughter picking up food when he pulled up to the window and saw a worker with both of his hands down his pants. He told us he grabbed his phone to snap a photo, and by that time, the worker had just one hand down his pants. Oh, he had... A corporate spokesperson for McDonald's told what? us the worker has been fired. What was this one's at? I didn't, I didn't, I, look, man, I had no clue that McDonald's was selling hot dogs. I had no clue. Fantastic, but it's off live leaks. You already know it's going to be. That's crazy. Look, man, at this point in the video, if I have to cut that part out, I will, because I'm just going to describe to y'all what happened, bro. The little girl went to Wendy's. She bit the burger, had glass in it. Her tooth came out. They had to rush her to the hospital. All these things. She was three years old. It's crazy. Wow, this involves a worker at this fast food joint. Not sure where it's at because it doesn't say, but he got himself into the sink where they wash the dishes and then used it as a bubble bath, which let's all be honest here for a second. That's just crazy. You don't want whatever you're going to be having your food cooked on, that kind of stuff, anywhere near some dude's crack or his crack water, quite frankly, and you don't want anything to get on those pants or something like that. Maybe you'll find a hair from an unsavory region and I, I don't know it's just not a good situation hey bro <laughs> i'm just thinking the whole time man imagine 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 getting a booty hair on your food you know what i'm saying <laughs> no somebody got to leave this earth Wow. He just wanted to get fired. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> so after we got the show, we're gonna get caught tonight. It's my birthday. I figured I'll still a little frisky, better get a little clean. In the number seven spot, this one doesn't fall as much on one specific work or anything like that. He was intentionally trying to get fired, y'all, at this point. Y'all agree? Yeah, this is just a disgusting restaurant. This involves a pizza place actually called the pizza joint and they ended up being closed down for pretty obvious reasons once you see this video but after hours you could actually look in through their window and see a bunch of rats just crawling around on their counter like where the food is prepped all the that pieces are crazy made and tossed all that kind of stuff and they're just going around eating enjoying their time i mean it's some real ratatouille type of stuff visitor chad davis from minneapolis shot this video through the front window of the pizza joint early wednesday morning it shows at least four large rats scampering across the pizza counter after hours. We showed the video to okay. visitors passing by the restaurant in the 600 block of Bourbon Street. Oh, that thing is crazy. Oh, my God, it's making me itch. Kimberly Banner and Nasia Woods are from Kentucky. I'm shocked. Like, oh, my God. That is ridiculous. Over to six, we got it's not like they didn't know that they had that problem, bro. Those are big-ass rats. Those things are the size as a fucking dog, a chihuahua, maybe even bigger. It ain't like they ain't know them damn rats was in there, dog. And the people that work there, I'm I'm convinced they're all serial killers. Cause there's no way, even the mice, bro. I'm not gonna be in there with a damn mice. 
The mice had me sitting in my damn chair in my room like this for hours until the mouse trap caught him. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with me. Yeah, rats. It's a place that's a, like a hybrid of a grocery store and a restaurant at the same time, and they have a lot of problems. Let's just leave it at that. I mean, they were inspected and had like 64 demerits or something like that, like an insane number Is that of a roach? Things, problems with their food, all different types of stuff. And on top of all of that, it was just the cherry on top, the sprinkles was the fact that they had roaches, and quite a few of them. And I guess they said that they had solved that problem when they reopened at a certain point. And uh, funny enough, when this news crew went out to, uh, I guess, do a little story on it, report about it, see how things were going, right as this dude was like, oh, we, we're, we're good, no more roaches, one comes out. It's like perfect timing. This past weekend, a social media crazy. post was circulating about a cockroach found in food at Joe's Cajun Cafe inside West Acres Mall on Friday. The victim told me over the phone that she was disgusted and felt nauseous all day. Gave them a complete full refund and we, we basically had said sorry for that because that is not something people should have in any food. Real quick, before the next one, Mich you had said sorry. What? But, uh, 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 oh, hell no, absolutely not, sir. You know what? What's disgusting about that is the fact that not even just the roach, bro. That sorry ass excuse for having the roach. Like, oh, you know, we fixed it and you still have roaches. He knew they still had roaches. And that's what some of these people don't tell you. And that's why, you know what? I, I'm a cooker. How many of y'all is a, a cook at the crib? I cook. And if I go get some food, bros, from a trusted place, bro, best to believe I inspected. I come in with my white gloves. I'm going to be playing that. Give a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel or else rat poop is going to be in your next meal. At number five, we got a nasty one that happened at a Vegas buffet. Ooh, look Buffets, nasty anyway. They have their own little set of issues and... You know, this one specifically. And you know what's so disgusting about these roaches, bro? This is in, what, is in North Dakota? Bro, these motherfuckers can survive in anything. And then this one right here is in uh, Maryland. I used to uh, live down the street from here. Wow. Did I eat there? Oh, this better not. We had a rat problem. Uh, this place had rats everywhere and I mean they were still serving the food all that kind of stuff like quite literally there was pictures and stuff like people were sending in that had rat droppings in their food on their wontons I mean you name it everywhere eventually inspectors were sent in and you could see rat droppings all over the floor in the kitchen I mean they were everywhere and quite obviously these guys had to have known that there was a problem and tried to hide it. There's so much in health district records about Vegas Buffet, which is on Flamingo between Maryland Parkway and Spencer. This fly strip that was chock full of insects pales in comparison to the rat infestation. Droppings weren't just on the floor. There was poop on the boxes, on shelves, and yes, in the food, including uncovered flour, wonton strips, and around cooling chicken. And then before spot in my opinion, this has got to be one of the craziest ones. I think these people need to be prosecuted on a higher level than what they get, bro. Bump all these fines. I think the people that all ate there, they need to get some type of compensation. I'm talking about mentally, too, once they find out that they were actually eating rat shit. Because I know I'll have PTSD about that shit. On this entire Literally. list, we've got a girl who worked at this food mart. And next door, there was this ice cream shop. And for some reason, this worker, she did not like this ice cream shop. I'm not necessarily sure why. They thought it was a parking issue or something like that. But these two places were in the same building and shared a bathroom. So you could go back and forth between the bathroom through these two. And that's how she went through and started doing this stuff. And by I stuff, only I mean... She would basically relieve herself into buckets that were used for churning the ice cream. So you would potentially get in some, uh, well, you know, in ice cream. And then on top of that, she would dump those buckets out into the sink where they would wash utensils for making the ice cream, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and like a little bit of uh, a cherry on top, she would spit in the ice cream and all other different weird things like that. Basically, it was just downright disgusting. She ended up being caught and was arrested. What? Jason Wipcha is facing charges and forced a restaurant owner to destroy $2,000 worth what? of food to ensure all the food is safe to eat. And we found this incident prompted some high priority violations with a list of food that was considered contaminated, including more than 80 gallons of ice cream pies and more than a dozen <laughs> ice cream sandwiches. A lot of food. Moving through. Bro, that's a hey, bro. That's a nasty heifer right there, dog. <laughs> that's a nasty heifer right there, dog. Like what? 
Give her a life sentence, man. Some people, man, like you think people are born like that or they just fucking hate people that much. We we're heading over to Wendy's again for this one. And we've got another situation where a worker got into the sink and used it as a bubble bath. Apparently, Yo, what's going this on must this? just be real relaxed and people must enjoy it. I guess it's more popular than I might have thought. But this worker was actually doing this for a TikTok. I guess you want to get famous that bad. And uh, I guess it worked because it did go viral and he ended up getting into a decent bit of trouble, got fired as well. All right, several workers at this Greenville restaurant now out of a job after the video you see went viral. It shows a worker in a sink full of water and soap and bubbles and he says it feels like a hot tub. You then see another employee throw a rag at the shirtless man telling him to wash himself. The video quickly took off on TikTok and eventually made its way to Facebook. It's an image leaving a bad taste in customers' mouths. And fun, we're starting to do off with a worker who got fired for trying to do the right thing. One of his other employees at this pizza place literally spat on a person's food. I mean, he just spat all over the pizza. It was just dumb or disgusting. There was a video recorded. That oh! Uh, this employee tried to bring this to HR, that kind of stuff. They basically told him to ignore it and said, you know, leave it alone. He didn't and ended up getting fired for trying to spread the word about it. Nell May says when he heard what the oh. other employee said he was going to do to the pizza on Friday, he was in shock. And I asked him, was he serious about that? Like, was he really going to spend the custom pizza? And he said, yeah. So I put on my phone a half proof just in case he did it. May said he tried to report it to his manager, but wasn't heard. So I went home and I posted the video to show people what was going on because they obviously didn't want to listen. I was going to stay after to go down and speak to the HR to not cause a scene in the stand, but they didn't want to listen to me. That video went viral on Facebook and Instagram. In a statement, Detroit Sports Service, the food and beverage providers at Comerica Park said they closed that food stand when they found out and got rid of the tampered with food. But May says that that employee says he's spitting the food before. I hope you guys enjoy the you know what's crazy about that? Do people think that shit is okay? This is normal? It was worse seeing it than, like, you know how you hear about something, you hear about shootings and stuff all the time? You're like, okay. But when you actually see one, it's a lot different. So when I seen him actually spitting that food, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. See, when we heard about old uh, the old lady pissing in buckets and containers and shitting in buckets and stuff, it was bad. But if we would have seen a video of her doing that, imagine. Wow. Let me know in the comments down below which one was the worst for you. The worst experience I've seen, I've dealt with, that I can know, first of all, I was deployed, right? And this wasn't like a restaurant. It's like a cafeteria for us, you know, on a deployment. So I was deployed. And we got these, uh, you know, foreigners. And some of these people are, like, not here for us. They're here to, like, you know, get information on us and send back to, like, you know, the terrorists and stuff like that, right? So, some of them, like, what I'm saying is they don't give a fuck. So, we in there getting our food. I sit down and get my food, bro. I had a booger with hair on it, bro. I'm talking about a big booger in my sandwich. Good thing about it, though, I did not eat that sandwich. I didn't eat none of it, you know. So from there, I just started eating salads, man, the whole time I was uh, deployed. But, yeah, that's my story. Let me know y'all's in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Like I always say, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you in the next video. And I'm out, though. Bye. Damn, it's about time. I waited my time, but I stayed on the ground. Now the bag getting bigger. They say I'm that nigga. Five figure nigga. What's special about it? Straight out the street. I get more from a bag than I do a feet. Don't mind the name on the bag. It's so deep. Come get a package from me. I'm moving bags in my seat. 